What's going on guys, Jeff here for Corals Unlimited and today we're gonna to be taking a look at drip acclimating your fish in inverts with the Innovative Marine AccuDrip. Welcome back to the Corals Unlimited YouTube channel. If you are interested in what we're doing here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. Now today we're gonna to be taking a look at drip acclimating fish and inverts, so let's jump into now, it. Now for years and years and years, I've always have been a proponent of drip acclimation and that is a very important subject. Uh, but this is a tool that makes drip acclimating a lot easier. And you know, for some folks, if like I got airline tubing that works good enough for me, sure, that will work. Uh, but there are some things that are built into this product that make drip acclimation much easier and very simple and very fast. And that's why I love it. I actually use these in the store. If you come in, you can see them uh, hanging up next to the fish holding system. Um, and you know, you can use it for a number of different types of fish: freshwater, brackish, marine. Um, I also use this for inverts, things like, you know, hermit crabs, anemones, that sort of thing. Packaging is pretty simple. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. There is some information on the back that kind of gets into the product and the benefits of drip acclimation. And really, that's all you got right there. Alright, so a pair of scissors. Be very careful when you are removing this tape. I want to cut that tubing and here you are so you got obviously i'm not gonna be able to get it all on camera so you have a good length of tubing uh it's very soft to the touch you have your youtube then you have this right here which is quite often seen on ivs uh, and that's basically going to get the suction going so for those folks that use the airline tubing and a valve with this device you no longer need to haul the air out and drink salt water. Um, I'm not a big fan of drinking salt water. I've done, I've done my dues and my time in the hobby and uh, this just makes a lot more sense for me. So this tag right here does serve a purpose and that's to prevent this piece of plastic uh, from completely coming off which over time there's a good chance that, that will come off and this will slide over or slide off. Just make sure uh, that you pinch it down because it will grab um, when you're not using it or you're storing it. But what this does, this little wheel here, is it basically uh, replaces the valve. And as you wheel it down to the bottom, it will completely pinch off this tubing. And at that point, if you have this in the tank, the short end in the water, and this on the outside of the tank, and you squeeze this like three times, the water will pull from the aquarium down to this little suction device and you'll see it pull up a little bit depending on you know what you have your wheel set at and then you back it off slowly so you get that perfect drip and put it into the bucket of whatever you're drip acclimating. All right, so we're going to start a drip here with our AccuDrip. Uh, basically what we're going to do is take the YouTube, put the short end into the tank and then obviously if you're doing this on a reef tank at home you want to make sure that you have uh, your auto top off turned off because you would be draining out salt water and pumping in uh, fresh water which would not be good um, but we're going to put that in the tank like so then we're going to take this little plastic piece with the wheel we're going to wheel that all the way down to the bottom on the short end so this is our end right here we have that facing down wheel down to the short end I'm going to squeeze it and it's going to start filling up with water. At that point, when we back off the wheel, uh, as long as we are below the water level of the U-tube, uh, the water will start flowing through the tube and we're able to control the drip by pulling the wheel uh, to the top. So right now I have this above the tank so it's not really going to, uh, well, it looks like it's purging a little bit. but. Um, it's not really going to drain as fast as if I have it lower, like I do have a bucket down here to my right. Um, but we're going to go ahead and back that off a little bit. We're going to drop it in our bucket. A good speed for your drip is about a drip every second. Typically I'm going to drip acclimate uh, inverts and fish for about 45 minutes. 
uh, because there is arguments against drip acclimation uh, and that temperature fluctuation. So obviously like the old school, uh, three hours of drip acclimation is probably not the best idea. Uh, so it's probably a little bit better, you know, to do a little bit quicker of a drip acclimation uh, to ensure that your critters are not gonna get cold and then they can get into the tank um, where they're probably gonna be a lot better off than in one of these buckets. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave that set up like that and we're gonna give this about 45 minutes and then we can add these guys to the tank. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video.